One billion people live without electricity. That's about 13% of the world's population. Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia continue to be the areas of the world with the largest access deficit. In addition to those lacking any access, hundreds of millions more live with insufficient or unreliable electricity. Access to reliable and sustainable energy is crucial to reducing poverty. Countries need the energy capacity to supply businesses and markets, to drive new industries and jobs, and to power entire economies. Some countries are starting to make real progress on access to electricity. Countries like Bangladesh, Kenya, Rwanda and Tanzania have expanded access by 3% a year or more between 2010 and 2016. The World Bank is providing financing, knowledge and technical assistance to help them move forward. Sub-Saharan Africa's electrification deficit has recently begun to fall for the first time. With World Bank support, Rwanda in just seven years has tripled the share of people connected to the grid and brought electricity to 88% of schools, 76% of health centres and 94% of administrative centres in the country. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, but a few lessons are emerging from the experience of countries that have rapidly expanded electricity access. New comprehensive approaches often prove to be effective. They include combining grid, mini-grid and off-grid solutions, innovations in policy, financing and technology, and long-term planning. Viable utilities and a focus on service to customers to improve reliability and affordability are also crucial. In Kenya, for example, the World Bank supports more than $1.3 billion of geothermal generation, transmission, distribution and off-grid investments. This has helped Kenya more than double electricity access rates from 23% in 2009 to 56% in 2016. Technology is also playing an important role when it comes to improving and expanding access. Geospatial mapping is changing the face of electricity planning with unprecedented detail and accuracy on unserved populations. Geospatial data is being used to identify which technology to use where. With World Bank support, the Nigerian Rural Electrification Agency is mapping more than 250 sites for mini-grid development. The World Bank has a long track record of helping countries expand electricity service. Over the last four years, the World Bank contributed to new and improved electricity access for more than 45 million people. We are ramping up our support in response to demand from countries. In the last year, the World Bank committed $1.4 billion to energy access, compared to an average of $900 million a year for the previous four years. Of that, mini-grid and off-grid programs are growing the fastest, driven by demand in Africa and South Asia. The focus is not only on new connections, but also on quality, reliability and affordability to bring people out of poverty. There's still much work to be done. The World Bank is committed to helping countries scale up innovative solutions that can bring electricity to all their citizens and end energy poverty.